Hey guys, it's Will Patterson here again with another Illustrator CC tutorial. Now the team over at Hive have asked me to create this logo design or part of my logo design that I used over here in a client's piece of logo. And basically, if for you guys who don't know, Hive is an online professional network where creative people can upload their portfolio. They can also find inspiration, education and find work. And the links are in the description for you guys to go and check it out. Okay, so creating this icon here is relatively easy, but we're going to be using the Pathfinder function, which is over here. Now, if you don't have the Pathfinder window here, go up to Window and go down to Pathfinder. Or you can press Shift, Command and F9 or Shift, Control and F9. So the first thing we need to do is we need to create the triangle. So to create the triangle, we're going to go to a Shapes tool here and then go down to Polygon. Now, I'm bringing out a triangle here, but you'll see that you'll be bringing out like a polygon shape here. To get rid of the polygons or to get to the lowest amount, which creates a triangle, just press the down arrow key all the way and you'll get this triangle. Hold shift and then let go and this will bring out a triangle. Now, with this triangle, we need to do a few things. So, as you can see, this triangle here has rounded corners and the easiest way within the new update to Illustrator to round the corners of your triangle is to select it press A which brings our direct selection tool up and we get these sort of circles outside the corners. Just drag these circles in and it will round the corners for you straight away. So there's no need to go and do a text effect for this. Round the corners to as much as you like. Okay, so the next thing we need to do is create this sort of Instagram looking camera within the center of this. And this is really a fun way of creating the camera which is just by circles and squares. So the first thing I'm gonna do I'm going to go to my shapes panel over here again, go to my ellipse tool or you can just press L on your keyboard and we're going to bring up an ellipse in the center of here. Now as you can see if I just bring an ellipse out it's not going to do much apart from make this weird oval. So we need to press shift and alt to drag it out from the center. Awesome so now we've created the ellipse we need to change the fill color to white. So as you can see it's black at the minute over here so I'm going to go and change it to white. After we've done that I'm going to select my triangle and my circle and I'm going to press the triangle again and I'm going to center the circle with my uh, center tools here. Now obviously this isn't properly centered so I'm going to bring it down here again but making sure it's horizontally centered that is the main pit. Okay so we need to create another circle within this circle like so like we've done over here we need to create this black circle here and the way we do this is by pressing onto the circle pressing C Command F, which will paste the circle in front, and then we bring it down by pressing Shift and Alt again. And we just scale this down to by here. Again, we need to change the fill to nothing and the stroke over here to black. And then I'm going to change the stroke points to about 0.5, so we'll scale it up by 0.5. Actually, we can go a bit more than that. So if I just get my stroke again, I'm going to bring it up to about 7. That's looking good. Okay, so the next thing we need to do is we need to create uh, these sort of squares here, which are the sort of shutters of the logo, or of the camera even. So the best way to do this is I'm going to zoom in, and I'm going to use my, uh, go to my shape tools here, and I'm going to use the rectangle tool, and I'm just going to bring out a rectangle like so, to about here. And then we'll be left with that. We need to make sure that the stroke and the fill are switched around, and the easiest way to do this is by pressing Shift and X. And then we just have the fill of the shape. With the shape highlighted, we need to press E. And then we can rotate this around. And this will rotate it to the degrees over here. And you can really rotate this any way you want. But this is just the way that I want to rotate it to this angle. Again, we need to make sure these corners aren't hard. So the easiest way is to highlight the shape or select the shape. Go to A, and then you see these dots again, and these are the round corners dots. I'm just going to round those corners like so. Okay, awesome. That, that's looking good. We need to now basically copy this shape from here to over here, like we've done with our other logo here, so create the two shapes. So with your square selected, press R, and then go into the center of the circle, hold Alt down, and then press in the center. And what this will do is it will bring the rotate function up. Yours will come up like this, so you won't uh, see anything changing. So what we need to do is we need to go to preview, 
and change this to 120 degrees and then press it like so. We can even change this around by increasing the amount of degrees we have like so and then press copy which will copy that shape to over there. And that is the iris is done like so. Amazing. What I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to go ahead and lock this background layer and by doing this I'm going to set the triangle and press command 2 which will now lock it so we can't actually go ahead and move it or play with it and this leaves us so we can like change everything in the center of the triangle so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to highlight everything and then just bring this up a tiny bit to make it a bit bigger that's a bit too big now like so and I'm liking that that looks good okay the next thing we need to do is create two more or oh, well, one more rectangle and one more circle like so I'm going to go ahead and press M to get my rectangle tool and just bring a rectangle up like so. I'm going to let go and then I'm going to change the fill color to white. And this is so I can see what it looks like in the end. Highlight the rectangle again and then press A to get a direct selection tool again. Go ahead and make that rounded. And that is the flash done. And then to get a little camera icon here or to get the little circle, just go ahead and press L to get your lips tool and then shift and alt in the center to create a small circle. Now I want this circle to be aligned to the square, so I'm using my smart guys to show me where it's gonna be aligned to, like so. And that is it. But what we need to do now is make sure that this, this whole shape here, isn't white. We want the whites to not be shaped, we want it to be cut out of the triangle. Because as you can see there, it was white, but if I take this shape, everything is transparent here. There's actually no shape in the center there. And the best way to do this is to select all the white objects. Now the easiest way to select all the white objects at once is to click one of the white objects, highlight that one, go up to your top right of the screen and press select similar objects. And this will select all the white objects and leave out all the black ones. While, you see, while you've selected that, press Command and 8, and this will create a compound path. Now everything else on top of that will have gone to the back of the object. So the objects are still there in the back, you just can't see them. And then from this, we need to hold shift and select the triangle and then go to our pathfinder option down here and press minus front. And this will delete the triangle and the shapes above the triangle as well. So we're left with open shapes. Uh, now we have our triangle, we need to create a group so we'll group these there and then the problem that we also have here is that we have this circle in the center that's not a natural shape it's a path so we need to go to object path with everything selected object path outline stroke and it'll outline that stroke for us so now we've got the shape exactly the way we want it to be and now we can put it into photoshop or use it as an icon okay thank you so much for watching guys Look out for the other videos and remember to check out Hive if you're looking to kickstart your creative career.